Hi guys, here we are back again for this week's property tour. And today we're in one of our favorite villages in the Huayai area, just east of Jomtien and Pattaya city. This is a brand new village. We've been here before, but today we're showing a different villa for sale. It's a beautiful, large villa on a plot of land that's about 220 square wa or 880 square meters, great size land plot. The house itself is 414 square meters of living area. It's got a private pool, a beautiful garden, a little fountain area, really nice manicured land, and then a very large interior as well. It's one of the larger house types that this developer builds. The house is set up as a three bedroom, five bathroom home currently, but it can easily be adjusted into a five bedroom, five bathroom home because there are two additional rooms that are being used as an office and a library. You'll see this as we walk in. The house is fully furnished, it's ready to move into, and it's a beautiful example of what a pool villa in Thailand should look like. Let's head inside this house and take a look. So as soon as we enter into the house, guys, we see the detail that's been given to this landscape and the layout of the property. To my right, you've got the large covered two-car garage. It's completely separate from the home. You've got a bathroom and a laundry room and a storage room off of that garage. And then you've got the main house here in front of me. And you've got a separate guest house off to my right, which we'll look at in more detail. It's a beautiful house totally private and it's got all its own kitchen, bathroom and facilities. There's then a separate office building off to my left right here. Then we move through to this large pool area. Huge terrace on this pool. One gripe that I have a little bit with a lot of pool villas in Thailand is a very, very narrow and small terrace area. This has a large terrace, looks over this beautiful pool. You've got jets and jacuzzi in that pool as well then it wraps around to the rest of the land. You've got an outdoor shower and you've got these large sliding glass windows and doors around the pool that you can completely open up. If you've got people over, you can entertain through from the kitchen and living area and kind of make this pool area all one large open area. Let's move inside the home, take a look in there. So here we enter into the separate guest house. This is a great space. It's one of the larger guest houses that we've seen and it's completely self-sufficient. You've got a very large full-size kitchen off of one side. You've got your ensuite bathroom on another side and then you've got this nice large living area and bedroom. It's kind of like a studio apartment. It's very tastefully decorated. You've got some wood table and wood furniture throughout. You've got this nice leather furniture as well with a sofa and chair, of course the bed. And then on almost all the walls, you've got these large windows that let you see the beautiful garden around the home. So it's a really nice calming feeling staying in this separate house or even separate villa you could call it. And it's great if you've got family staying over, parents, in-laws, or you've got older kids that really need their own space. It's a great area to use. Of course, it's air conditioned. You've got Daikin inverter air cons in here, and it's just completely well equipped to be staying in the separate guest house of the home. So here we enter into the main home. Now this house is very unique in the points that we've talked about and something we haven't mentioned is the amount of kitchens in this house. It's a very practical space with two kitchens here in this main area. You've got this one behind me which is more of a prep area. It's got a full sink, an island and lots of cabinet space. And then you've got the cooking kitchen just off to the side here that actually has the oven, the stovetop cooker, another sink and more area, another island actually as well for prep and for actually cooking food. So it's a practical design. Then you have the guest house kitchen as well, another full European style kitchen. And you have a Thai kitchen outside just at the back of the home. 
So again, for someone who likes to cook or any family member who is maybe uh, cooking Thai food out back, someone separate in the guest house, they're never gonna have an issue with uh, not enough kitchen space. Now, in this main home here, we do have uh, currently arranged two bedrooms and we have a separate library area that we'll get to. But after coming in this main entranceway here, we walk through to the first living area here and you've got the sofas, you've got a great big screen TV, all which comes with the home and is going to be ready to move into. It's a great living space. What I love about this property is you actually have these really nice feature ceilings with recessed lighting and some wood decor that gives some more character to the home. You have this throughout the entire home. You also have the large dining area and a second kind of seating and living area around the other side of the house. This design of home is not done very often by the developer in this village because you need a lot of land space to do it and that's exactly what this villa has. As we come around the corner from the kitchen and dining area, we come to this second small living room area of the home. Now this to me feels more like a reading room where you can pull up a chair and chill and relax right by the pool. You've got beautiful views of the land and these doors here on my left open all the way up. You can spill out onto the pool area with family and friends or people you've got over. Now in the spirit of the way the house is currently set up, you've got some great reading material like one of my personal favorites, 1984 George Orwell, and you can really almost vicariously live through somebody like George George Orwell in this home because you've got a fantastic library that we mentioned earlier. This is one of the most unique features we've seen in a home. It's a massive library area, fully equipped with the uh, sliding ladder along the edge, reminiscent of some of the old movies I've seen, um, and it's just a fantastic space. Of course, we understand this is for a very niche market. Is everybody going to want a full uh, library area in their home? Maybe not, but this was originally designed as a bedroom and all of the cabinet areas and the bookshelf areas that are there can easily be removed and are built on top of the normal tile floor of the home. So you could easily clean that area out and you've got a third bedroom inside this main home, which will be in this area where you've got one of the other bedrooms as well and the master bedroom off of this room also. From that reading area, we move through to the master bedroom. Now, of course, there are some unique features which the owner has set up in this property. You've got the aquarium in the bedroom, you've got that library that we walked through, but the master bedroom is more of a kind of neutral design where you've got a huge cornered window off to one wall, you've got beautiful views over the pool, and you've got a very nice walk-in closet just behind me that moves through to the master ensuite. Again, throughout this entire home, you've got new Daikin in inverter air cons and the house is only two years old. So it's worth mentioning that, you know, moving into a brand new home right from a developer, it's got its perks, but it's also got its little catches and little hiccups that a new owner will need to fix up and will need to kind of change or alter slightly. This home, it's been lived in for just two years and all of those initial kinks that you get in a new home have been ironed out and it's all functioning very well, very beautifully, and it's ready to move into. So moving back outside the house, guys, as I've said, the use of space here, and I don't wanna sound like a broken record, but it really uses the land space well. You've got the 880 square meters of land, you've got the 414 square meters of living area. It's really a great size home, and although it's only set up as a three bedroom currently, it's got that easy change into a four or a five bedroom. The separate office area that's already set up is great for those that want a home office or even to change that into a home fitness room. 
The pool is nine by 3.5 meters. It's a great size pool and it gets a lot of sun, but if you wanted to make some changes like maybe putting a sail or some coverage over this uh, pool area, you could do that as well. It's got great garden areas and it's fully set up, ready to move into in one of the newest and most prestigious areas of this growing Hawaii area. Today, coming to this villa, I use that new Highway 7 connection. I love that connection coming from the inner city. Very easy to get to Pattaya City or to Bangkok, or you can get down to Rayong and Yu Tapau Airport as well. You also have the highway extension directly down to Jom Tien area where the new uh, mall is going to be right beside Ocean Marina and you've got easy access to Jom Tien's beachfront also. So it's a fantastic strategic location. If you'd like more information on the property, as always, reach out to myself or to the team at Condo Connection. We'll be happy to help. And if you like the videos that we put out every week, subscribe to the channel. You won't miss those future updates and videos that we put out. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.